Probably the most famous entertainer at the Evergreens is, uh, was a song and dance man called Bill Bojangles Robinson. And anybody who's ever seen a Shirley Temple movie has seen Bojangles Robinson. He was so agile, even in his 50s, he was dancing up and down stairs with Shirley Temple. They had a relationship, you see it, there's one called The Little Colonel, in which he plays a kind of a butler. He was always playing subservient roles, but at the same time was protective of the little white girl. And that really was astonishing. And there have been, Don, there have been some act, uh, historians of uh, blacks in the theater who have pointed out that uh, this is revolutionary in American, uh, in American theater. This is that you had the black man who was protective of the white and respected by all the whites. So in a way, he was a breakthrough. He uh, was a New York character of the first rank. He ended up living in Brooklyn, and uh, he died in Brooklyn. And his uh, funeral was held in Harlem, and it was said there were 10,000 people watching the funeral. There was a second funeral. He came, they brought his body from uh, Abyssinian Baptist Church with Adam Clayton Powell, and Ed Sullivan presided at the funeral, a great old entertainer, and brought it down after the funeral, came down to uh, Times Square, and came through Times Square slowly and then all, went all the way out to the Evergreens and uh, with people just lining the streets. At the street. And he was buried in a very nice place on a corner so the, the plaque was uh, quite visible. It shows his profile. An interesting sidelight to that story is that about 30 years after he died, somebody vandalized it and took the stone and it was replaced by Sammy Davis Jr., who was the next generation of these uh, black song and dance men.